Neuropsychoanalysis. Another descendant of Freud's psychoanalytic theory, psych neuropsychoanalysis is the combination of neuroscience, which is the study of the anatomy and biochemistry of the brain, and psychoanalysis, as finding um, hidden motives and dynamics in personality. Neuropsychoanalysis is a sort of synthesis between these two approaches. Penksepp postulated the idea of affective neuroscience, which is the emotional aspect of the mind. Drives are the intrinsic basis of personality, and affective neuroscience serves as a source of motivation, and they are interested in circuitry related to emotional responses. These served as homeostatic drives that regulated imbalance. He also postulated, or stated, that there are seven subcortical basic emotional command systems, which uh, he identified. And these included the seeking system, which generated anticipation and excitement. There was also lust, care, play, rage, fear, which included freezing and flight, and panic slash grief, which was caused by distress. We will be exploring more of the seeking system. The seeking system controls energy level. The seeking system controls energy levels and is contingent on the external stimuli or external environment, which is activated by neurological deprivation. It was tracked to follow or exist in the mesolimbic cortical dopamine pathway, and it is um, goal-directed. The seeking system allows for coupling, which basically links drives to objects, similar to habituation, classical and open conditioning. So in essence, um, it also facilitates learning. The seeking system, uh, it also le leads to consumatory, consumatory action to meet the said needs. This is similar to Freud's drive theory, in which the somatic source is uh, regulatory imbalance, the aim is consummation, the object is the external stimulus, and the motor function is the energetic activity. Seeking systems basically drive individuals to meet their needs. I would further discuss the seeking system in the light of Freudian dream theories and the discovery of REM sleep. According to Freudian dream theory, we dream or hallucinate when we have desires and unmet needs. Nightmares are seen as the manifestation of conflicting desires. Neuropsychoanalysis, neuropsychoanalysts hoist that the seeking system's mesolimbic cortical dopamine pathways are important for dreaming. On the other hand, the discovery of REM sleep, or REM sleep, by Azarinsky and Klebman in 1953, in which rapid eye movement occurs when we dream, was discovered. Hobson and Macaulay in 1977 believed dreams were just random images and that they had nothing to do with uh, inner needs or motivation. Neuropsychoanalysts counter this by stating people have dream drugs in which addicts dream to satisfy their needs. Also people with lobotomy have damaged uh, dopamine pathways which bring about the cessation of dreaming and fantasy and even curiosity in waking life, hence showing dreams or dreaming and the seeking system are interconnected. Thus, in summation, neuropsychoanalysis combines neuroscience and psychoanalysis, where individuals have effective neuroscience and that culminates in emotional systems like the seeking system, helping to motivate individuals to meet their needs. Freudian dream theory shows that desires and unmet needs manifest in dreams. Thanks for watching. Yeah!